Hi, my name is Norman Aberin. I'm a developer advocate at Oracle. Welcome to episode one of a series on getting started with Java, Oracle JDBC, and the Oracle database. For this video, we will go over using Oracle Database XE or Express Edition, connecting to it using Java and using prepared statements to run queries against our database. First, to install the Oracle Database XE, you can follow the guide available through this link. With a working XE installation, let's try to connect to our database using SQL Developer. We will create a new connection and log in the system. Then we will select service name instead of SID and put in the identifier for a PDB. Once we have a successful connection to the database, we will need the following objects. Go ahead and copy and issue the code snippet on the right, and we will be good to go. This should give us a user and a table to work with for a demo. Now we are ready to build a Spring Boot Java application. Let's initialize our project using the Spring Initializer website. For this demo, I'm using JetBrains Intel J IDE. We can also initialize a project here as well. Under dependencies, we will need Spring Boot DevTools as well as Spring Web. Then let's click Create. Now that we have a Spring Boot application, let's add the Oracle JDBC driver to our project. You can navigate to this link here. Here we offer different options for different use cases, but for now we will use the production jars. So let's copy the snippet and paste it in our POM file. Now that we have the JDBC driver, let's start coding our application. Let's begin by navigating to our one Java file in the project. Now we will keep our demo simple by implementing the command line runner and its run method. We will also have multiple phases where we demonstrate different CRUD operations just by changing parts of our code. Inside the run method, we'll add in the quick start snippet for Java. We can find this in the Oracle Database XE quick start webpage. If we scroll down, here we can find multiple code snippets for different languages. We'll copy the one for Java and paste this inside our run method. We'll be importing the missing classes. Next, we'll update the username and password to the user and the credentials we created within SQL Developer. Now if we run our application, Here we'll see the successful execution of the select statement from the quick start snippet. For the next phase of our application, we'll comment the bottom part out and add an insert statement to create records. Our prepared statement here will have two parameters that we will have to set, the issue title and the author. We'll also have a select statement to read new records in our issues table. If we run our application, we should see one record from our database table. Let's try that again. If we update the author and the title and run again, we should now see two records. For the next phase, let's comment out our insert statement and we'll do an update on our first record. Our update statement here will update the status from one to seven, which are both arbitrary for any record with an ID of one. If you run our application, we should see that the first record now has a status of seven. Finally, in our last phase, We'll complete our demo with a delete statement. Here, we'll simply remove records with a status ID of one. If we run our application, we should see that we only have one record and not two. All right, that completes our demo on connecting to Oracle Database XE and using prepared statements with Java. If you would like to know more about prepared statements in the Oracle Database XE, follow the links on the slide. We also have episodes two and three coming following this one. Check them out and learn more about the Oracle database. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.